I'm Alan Lawrence of WonderTouch, and in this video I'll explain the differences between Particle Illusion SE and Particle Illusion 3.0, as well as differences between the free emitter libraries included with Particle Illusion and our pro emitter libraries for Particle Illusion 3. Finally, I'll discuss our emitters for motion. I'm going to assume that you already know what Particle Illusion is. If not, I've covered that in another video, so you may want to take a look at it first. Both Particle Illusion SE and 3.0 are similar in the way they look, the way you use them, and in what you can do with them, but 3.0 does more. Both allow you to load movies or images, add and customize your particle effects, and render either the particles with your movie or the particles alone with an alpha channel for compositing in your editor or effects application. Everything that SE does, 3.0 does too. But since SE uses an older version of our particle engine and 3.0 uses the latest, 3.0 does a lot more. It has super emitters, which are emitters that create other emitters automatically. The result is a wider range of possible effects with more complexity and realism. Forces, which allow you to affect particles after they are created, similar to wind. Blockers, called masks in other applications, to block out particles in certain areas. The ability for particles to get their color and or transparency from the background image, which means that you can do some nice disintegration type effects and distortion effects. Using the alpha channel of an image or movie to specify where particles are to be created. Multiple layers a library manager to help you organize your libraries, and many UI enhancements that make it easier to get things done. Particle Illusion SE, although still quite powerful, does not have any of these features. Both SE and 3.0 have thousands of emitters included for free, and we release a new free library every month. There's no subscription to buy, you just visit our website and download the new library each month. We're always trying to give you fresh new ideas with these free emitters, and many of them are really excellent. If you want even more very high quality emitters, you can purchase one or more of our pro emitter libraries. Twelve themed libraries of 30 emitters each, the pro emitters were created by talented artists using Particle Illusion 3.0. These are very advanced emitters that were created with a lot of care and effort. You'll see that they're a step above the emitters available for free and you'll easily find a use for them in your next project. Finally, we sell a collection of emitters for Apple's Motion. Motion's particle system is in many ways comparable to Particle Illusion SE, so we were able to convert over 300 of our older Particle Illusion SE emitters into Motion format so that they can be used inside Motion using Motion's own particle system. Since these are comparable to Particle Illusion SE emitters, you're not going to find the more sophisticated emitters that you can create in Particle Illusion 3.0, but for those with simple particle needs who like to work entirely in motion, these emitters may be for you. Note that Particle Illusion 3.0 can easily be used with motion. You just have to render the particles as QuickTime movies with Alpha Channel, then import them as footage in motion. If you want the more advanced effects of Particle Illusion 3, this is the way to go. I hope that helps clear up some of the differences between our products. I'm Alan Lawrence of WonderTouch. Thanks for watching.